From the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your morning update. Your weekend weather update is made possible by Caltrans District 2. Hey folks, good morning. Remember me? That's right. I am finally back here on the weekends forecasting the weather. It's been a heck of a couple weeks, right? I had COVID, so I was kind of a shut in from that, among other things. It's just been kind of a chaotic couple weeks, right? But thankfully, I'm on the mend. Here I am forecasting weather, helping you guys figure out what the heck's going on with the forecast, and I'm glad to be doing it. And okay, what's going on with the forecast, right? Well, first things first, today, a little bit crummy, right? We have that moisture across the area, at least if you have outdoor plans, but Kind of beneficial to be honest with you. It's always nice to see some rainfall here in this beautiful state and that's definitely what we're getting out there, right? Not picnic weather, really nice weather to sit inside, have some coffee, read a book. That's kind of my favorite type of way to describe this weather. Check it out. You see some temperatures getting up near 60 in the valley through today. Showers lingering throughout the day, maybe some heavier downpours kind of off and on. I really don't think that's going to be quite as widespread. Out towards Siskiyou and Mudok County, near 50 by this afternoon. Showers lingering through today. And as you head towards East Mountains, check it out. Some mid 50s as we head later in today, but that's going to kind of be pushing it. I think near 50 is a reasonable bet there. Northern, Northern Coast, uh, Del Norte County, uh, Humboldt County, I think that's where the highest rain chances are for the terms of uh, downpours, right? Thunderstorms. I think that's where you'll probably see those. And you kind of see that reflected here as we head through this afternoon. Mid-60s possible out there. Head a little further inland, you might eke out a 60 by this afternoon, but you still get that rain out towards Trinity County. You get those mid-60s, or mid-50s rather, across the area widespread as we head through this afternoon. Futurecast kind of paints that picture. You see a little bit of jet of showers down in the southern portions of the valley extending out towards the East Mountains. Scattered throughout the day though and then they kind of build through the afternoon. Notice here as we head through this evening especially we have this jet of moisture pushing northeast in the valley. Probably going to pick up a quarter to a half inch of rain down there when all is said and done with it. Perhaps even more in some isolated spots but uh, don't think that's going to be widespread. I think the area of the highest rain chances up in Del Norte County and portions of Humboldt and Trinity counties and western Siskiyou as well. I mean check it out. You can kind of see those mixed in. Some heavier downpours possible. Moderate to heavy rainfall is possible in some of these uh, kind of more intense storms, right? Those push east with time here, but I think as we head through tonight and tomorrow, they really let up. This high pressure system way off the screen here, way off to the south, that's doing us a lot of favors. That's pushing that jet of moisture way off to the north and I think up north, up in Oregon and Washington, that's where they're going to see the rain and snow. As for us though, next 48 to 72 hours, actually looking pretty decent. We're warming up and drying out and yeah, like I said, I think the uh, really worst of it, right, the precipitation, that's getting pushed off to the north. That's going to be uh, their problem, for lack of a better term. But to be honest with you, like I said, beneficial rain never hurt anybody, that's for sure. In fact, with the snow, you can kind of see that getting pushed up in the eastern portions of Oregon up towards the Canadian Washington line, up towards Montana as well. So they're having fun up there. Looks like for the next couple of days, we're all good. But I think as we head deeper and deeper into the week, well, this system here, that's going to be creeping east. That's going to be our next precipitation chances. Widespread rain probably returning late Wednesday and into Thursday. Even notice some blue mixed in there. Snow levels probably in the five to 6,000 foot range through the midweek. Then as we head towards the end of the week, another system's diving south. That's towards Friday and towards Saturday. I think that system's going to be a little bit colder. Snow levels will be dropping there to 4,000 and maybe even 3,000 feet. But this system's a little more moisture starved. I'm not seeing this thing being quite as robust as the one we're seeing midweek, but models could change and they do change due to the fact they're seven days out. And of course, butterfly effect, you know, like they say, a butterfly flaps its wings in Argentina, tornado happens in Texas. It really takes these little variations to make up a big difference, right? So we'll keep a close eye on that as we head over the next several days. But again, I think this colder system towards Friday, towards Saturday has those better chances of lower snow levels as we head across the north. So we'll keep a close eye on that here. Now, let's take a look at what we have in store for today and the big picture as a whole. You can see those widespread 50s out towards Trinity County, and you see those 60s returning as we get that high pressure helping us out through tomorrow and Monday. Then that rain returns towards the midweek, and you can see those snow levels day by day starting to drop. 5,000 foot as we're heading towards Wednesday, 4,000 foot Thursday, 3,000 feet by Friday. That's kind of the trend we're looking at as that air kind of cools down. Winds out of the east at about 5 to 10 miles an hour, reasonable bet there with sustained, but gusts might be higher. It's kind of breezy out there, so we'll have to keep a close eye 
on that. Taking a look at the coast, you can kind of see that wind a little bit better. Check it out, south and east at 10 to 15 miles an hour. Gusts of 25 are possible there. Now, widespread 60s there uh, by Eureka and Fortuna. You see those mid 60s across the area, and we actually get some 70s returning over the next couple days as we clear out through tomorrow and into Monday. And of course, we have those showers and perhaps some more rumbles of thunder possible midweek as that one system starts to push in, and then that other one moves in towards Friday and Saturday. That's going to be coming in from the north to the south. Taking a look at the north coast up portions of Humboldt and Del Norte County, you can see those 60s kind of hovering, lower 60s, I think is kind of what you can expect for today. Check those mid to upper 60s out returning though through tomorrow through Monday. Rain returning in a more robust variety towards midweek and beyond. And to be honest with you, up here, I'm thinking we could pick up three, four, five inches of rain when all is said and done with it. So we'll keep a close eye on that to keep an eye and see how those totals evolve through the rest of this week. Take a look at Siskiyou County, widespread upper 50s, some lower 50s, of course, in the higher elevations. Wind to the south and east at 10 to 15. Of course, gusts again up near the 20s range. Check it out there. 60 as we head through tomorrow, getting back down to the 50s and 40s as we head deeper into the week. And of course, check those snow levels out, five, four, 3,000 feet as we head past middle and end portions of the work so you can kind of see how that evolves there. Out towards Modoc County, check it out there. You can see those kind of lower 50s, upper 40s, kind of hovering there in the upper elevations. Winds out of the south, 10 to 15 there. Gusts possible to 20, kind of a similar story there. Check it out here. Not too bad, not too bad at all. We have some 60s in store for us as we head over the next couple of days. First half of the week looking a okay across the North State. It's the second half, I think, that's going to have some more rain and precipitation across the area. Now, Notice this here. You see that? 60 in Paradise, 52 in Chester, 53 in Westwood. We start to get that kind of more variability here in the central portions of the North State. Check it out there. Susanville, you might have some higher snow levels with a little bit of batch of warm air there in that time frame there through the valley. Taking a look there. 72. Yeah, we're actually going to be pretty warm as we head over the next several days. Hopping up towards Redding. Well, similar story. We might get some 70s mixed in the batch there. And again, I think through today and into tomorrow, uh, we're probably talking somewhere in the vicinity of about a quarter to a half inch of rain through the valley, but some of us might luck out, get three fourths of an inch, but I think that's going to kind of be pushing it, right? I think quarter to half inch, reasonable bet for the next 24 hours. As for the rainfall totals here across the area, let's take a look at Reading. This is a big picture look for the 7A, and this kind of paints the picture for all of us. At least the trends are the same. We have this warming for tomorrow and Monday, 70s possible in the valley, for example, but rain returns by the midweek. And I think we wrap the week up with that rain and perhaps even snow in some of the higher elevations across the North State. Thanks for watching this forecast update course. I'll be back with you at midday for more and take it easy.